It's Saturday night, guys, and we're going for a stealth camp on a building site. Oh, oh yeah, you better believe we are. Right. So welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show, Mandingos. Yep, back out on another stealth camp. I'm um, hopefully I can get on this building site and get a spot without being spotted off the security guard. Hopefully no people that's already living there spot us. Some kids coming down here, so I'm gonna have to put the camera away. Yeah, but it's gonna be more of the same guys. I've got some whiskey to drink, some nice Australian whiskey. First time trying that. Some good food to cook. Anyway, man, goes. I'll bring you back when we get further along the road. Oh. So I'm just passing the church in the graveyard where I'd done the graveyard camp a few months ago. If you haven't watched that video, make sure you go back and check it out. It was a fantastic place to camp, to be honest. Um, it's like you think it would be scary, but it was really peaceful. You see it, it's not the, the dead you've got to be scared of, is it? It's the living, it's the scumbags. How are them guys back out on the road? Another five minute to walk along. And then we'll make our way into the building site. You know, it makes total sense. So this is the housing estate I'm looking to camp at, guys. As you can see, these houses has already been lived in. And there's loads more when you first go in where people are living in them. <coughs> When you go down to here, you can see this is all still a building site. You've got the foundations of the houses. When you walk in, there's, there's a few houses that's built, but no one's living in them yet. Hopefully I can get somewhere like that. I noticed one there uh, yesterday. I went for a walk with the dog and the house is built. The front door's on so you can't get in the house, but there's no garage door on. So fingers crossed, the garage door's still off and that's hopefully where I can get. However, let's make a move for it. Just hoping I get lucky and the watchy man, the security man, doesn't notice us. He's seen us last night, but like I say, I was just walking the dog, so he couldn't really see anything there is. It's a bit more dodgy now with this big backpack on. There's a house there, but that garage is boarded up. That would have been a decent place to camp. But the fence is up. There's fences up all the way around here. I don't want to be going climbing over fences. I'm quite happy just walking around like this. Anyway guys, the house I was thinking about getting in the garage is along the end of the street. So I'm just going to keep the camera pointing ahead so you can see what I can see. Thank God all these houses has got the 
they've got the curtain shut and the blind shut <sighs> if the builders has put the garage door on the deer that's that's this camp over i'm not going to be able to get in oh champion looks like there's no garage door on guys right how I... <sighs> my heart's put a pound in here just one person comes out of the house that's it it's all over right no one around quick look how are they oh you fucking bastard nearly fell over sorry for the language guys nearly fell over them oh, pallets Right then. Whew. I don't want to muck around. I'm going to try and get some sort of little camp set up. Maybe I can use them. Maybe I can use these pallets. I don't know. I'll bring it back when I've gotten some sort of camp set up. But it looks good. So, whew. Nag it. This will ding dang do for this banding war. You better believe it will. Two lice. Right folks, so I've built a little camp. I've brought the brush with us. Always thinking. <laughs> Always talk too loud. You know, there's people living in that house next door there. There's people living in that house next door there. And I'm talking far too loud. Anyway, I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna give it a, a good sweep out. And then I can get me air bed down and get all, you know. <laughs> then get all the rest of my gear set up. I'll give you a quick look inside. How are you? So what I've done was is guys, I've put two pallets right at the back on an angle, leaning against the wall. So I've got my top jammed between the pallets and the wall. And then I've got my top hanging all the way down to the floor. And I've put two pallets, as you can see, on top of the top. That's keeping the top pulled nice and tight. I've just put these two metal things here when it's dark later I know you can see because I've got my torch on but that should be pitch black in there if any of the the people that live here or the the watchy man if they go walking past obviously I'll have to try and keep the noise down you know what I'm like for talking shite however then let's have a quick look in so I want to get this light off as quick as I can I think it's going to be a cosy Gonna be a cozy little cam dingo man dingoes. I think you'll agree. Look at that. Good idea to bring the brush, give that a good sweep out. Because I don't want my air bed getting, you know, burst and dirty and all that carry on. But yeah, it's gonna be a good camp, guys. It's gonna be a fantastic camp. Anyway, I'm gonna set the rest of my gear up. I'll bring it back soon. Oh yes, you know it makes sense. Right, let's have a quick look in Mandingos. Right, as you can see, I've got my foil down in the bottom. It's not quite long enough, that one. So I've got another one underneath it. It's just sticking out at the top there, you can see. I've got me air mat there. My sleeping bag, my sleeping bag is absolutely honking. I forgot the last time I used it, I had messy out with us and it just stinks of wet dog. But I'll have to do dingo for this man dingo, as they say in the do doing. Here's me food and drink, guys. Oh God, tight squeeze here for a fat lad. Yep, so for me drinks. I've got a lovely bottle of whiskey there, just a third of a bottle. Australian whiskey, Starwood, I think that's how you see it. Kindly given to me from two Australian legends by the name of Dom and Tom. Thank you guys, 
much appreciate it. For snacks, I've got some biscuits. I've got some chorizo wrap round. Um, chili cheddar, them sound nice. I've got some Italian ham, Italian cheese and meats. Um, oh, what else have I got for me? Drinks, man. Getting ahead of myself. Four cans of Thatcher's. I've got a nice little bottle of red wine. Lovely jubbly for my main meal tonight. I've got some jumbo king prawns. Some Chinese style sauce. Curry sauce, I should say. And Uncle Bensky special fry lice. Oh yes, you know it's going to be a good camp, guys, when Uncle Bensky Beats International is back in town. Oh yes. Oh. Aye. So, Uncle Bensky gave me a ring during the week. He was full of apologies. To be honest, he was licking me arse a bit. I said, Uncle Bensky, you don't have to lick me arse, mate. Just make sure you have my lice delivered to my house on time. So, my original contract with him was 12 months. That's been extended now to 18 months. So, if you're watching Uncle Bensky, I know you will be. Cheers, mate. It is appreciated. But it still goes the same as what I said last time. You let me down one more time and I'm finished with you. Me and Uncle Bensky Bates, it'll be over. Anyway, that's enough of me talking shit for now, guys. I think I'm going to get myself a nice caramel cappadingo on. I've got two there. I'll bring you back soon. Ho ho! Yeah! I'm proper taking risks here, like stupid, really. caramel capitin more. I forget me cup haven't I? I've left me plastic cup at home. I'm having to drink out this pot. It'll do. Oh, class this man. Absolutely fantastic. As snug as a bug. Oh, just starting to chill out now. Aye. So I might as well answer a question, might not? Pass a couple of minutes away. A question I've been asked. Sorry guys, my cameras fell over. <laughs> I'm just picking my camera up. That could have went in the bloopers video, but the show must go on. Where have I put my coffee? Oh, my torch just stopped working. Things was going wrong, guys. What the fuck? I'll bring you back <laughs> in a second. Oh, I'll tell you, that's all right. I've got it. I don't know what's going on with my torch. Me, me. That's stopped working. Anyway. Oh, shit. I'll bring you back in a second, guys. Car outside. Shit. Oh. That was a close call. Obviously when I've got the torch in there on, the, the top, if you're outside looking in, the top's all lit up. So that's the only way I'm gonna get spotted now, if someone goes past and I've got the torch on. So every time I'm not recording, I'm turning like the, I've got a light here, on the top of my selfie stick, and I've got a torch down on the floor there. When I'm not recording, I'll be turning them torches off straight away. Aye, so I was answering a quick question, wasn't I? And the question is, um, do I watch my own videos on YouTube? <sighs> well, I don't really like watching them. You know, when you hear your own voice. Oh, man, shit. I'll have to bring you back again. This is a nightmare. Right, 
Sorry, folks. <laughs> Third time lucky. Yeah, so do I watch my own YouTube videos? I don't really like watching them. Um, you know, when you hear the sound of your own voice and it just makes you, makes you cringe, doesn't it? I mean, when I'm editing the video, I'm watching it anyway, so I know exactly what the video is going to be. Sometimes I have to watch them because when my granddaughter is at my house, Leila, she watches all my videos and she loves to watch them. You know, she'll say, oh, Granda, put your video on. So I've got to watch it with her. If you're watching now, Leila, I love you, flower. <laughs> love you, Leila. Yeah, um, so, yeah, I do watch them now and again, but I don't make a big issue of watching them, you know. I'm, <laughs> I'm used to it now. I'm used to watching myself and you get used to watching myself talking shit. It doesn't matter how many times I watch it and how many times I get used, how much I get used to it. I still cringe when I watch myself. Plus, I hate me face, me smile. I've got a wonky smile there. <laughs> Years ago, when I used to work on the doors down the town, I used to do like door security in Sunderland and through Shields and down Durham. I got punched from the side <laughs> and shattered me cheekbone and that's why I look like that. <clears throat> that's why I look funny. <laughs> I've got to be careful what I say. Yeah, so I hate watching myself. I hate me smile. Anyway, I'm talking shit already as usual. That's just the way it goes on the Blood Outdoor Show. Right guys, I think it's time for a can dingo, man dingoes. Oh yes, that's the plan dingo. Rice. Cheese man dingoes. Oh, nice can of thatches. Oh, lovely jubbly. Right, I'm gonna turn the camera off for half an hour. I'm gonna sit there and chill. It's nice and warm under this top. Brilliant, brilliant. I'm loving it already. Right then guys, I'll bring you back soon after I've sat and had a nice can dingo. Must be visiting one of the houses either side of us. Oh. Time for some snack dingoes, man dingoes. Some nice Italian ham dingo. Just cheap stuff from Aldi's. Oh, that's very nice. Hmm. Oh, doesn't get much better than this, guys. Still camping in an empty garage on a building side mm. with some Italian ham dingo drinking a can dingo. Don't you, man dingoes? Oh, <laughs> brilliant.
Right then, my fansexuals. While I'm sitting, having a snack of herbal, I might as well answer another quick question. This is just a quick one. I'm not going to slaver on too much. On my last stealth camp, when I had my little dog out with us, Messi, loads of people were asking, is he named Messi after the footballer? Hmm. Love it, is. Yep, well, you all got that right. He is named Messi after the footballer. And it's spelled the same way, M A. Double S I. When we first bought him, like 11 years ago, well, he's nearly 11, I think he's 11 next month in March. It was my stepdaughter, Brogan, she chose him. And uh, he was the one that come walking over. You know, a lot of people do that, don't they? You just, you just know it's going to be your dog. But his hair was all a mess. So it was me that said, oh, well, we'll call him Messi. His hair's a mess, but we'll spell it Messi like the footballer. Well, he's a great little dog for camping. If you watch me earlier videos, he used to come hiking over the Lake District with us, up the mountains, honestly. He'd, he'd walk for hours, but he's slowed right down now. He's puffing and panting, just walking around, around the streets when I take him for a walk. But I enjoyed having him out on the stealth camp a couple of weeks ago, so I think I'll start and take him out on a few stealth camps just now and again. It was good company. I know you're talking to the dog and he can't talk back, obviously, but it's still nice just to have someone there, you know, someone to talk shit to. But it's great to have you guys here and all. I love, I love sitting Tony's, although I'm by myself sitting here. When I'm recording and I'm talking, I do feel like he's all here with us. So, yeah, he's named Messi after the footballer. I'm going to finish this snack dingo. And I'll bring you man dingoes back soon. Two rights. Mm. Right folks, I've just been stretching my legs and I've just had a nice slash Gordon. I was bursting. Let's get back in before I get busted. Before I get busted, blood vessel. Busted Douglas. Look at that man. What a fantastic little camping spot. You better believe it is. Nice. Time for a little chest warmer. Oh yeah. Someone's back in the car. Directly outside the garage where I'm coming. They've got the engine running, but for whatever reason, they're not moving on. So I'm just gonna have to keep it down, guys. Make sure my light's turned off. Because <laughs> if they notice me here, they're probably gonna phone the place, aren't they? Wondering why some fat weirdo was camping in the garage. Mm. That's really, really nice. Australian waski. I'm looking forward to doing the world famous waski with you later on. just want to quickly say if you've bought us a bottle of whiskey and you keep watching and you're wondering when I'm going to do the review on the bottle you've bought us don't worry I will do it soon I've got 
quite a few bottles of whiskey there that people have posted to us and I'm trying to do them in the order I've received them so I will be doing it soon Mandingos just hang tight it's Australian whiskey time tonight I'm coming later on <laughs> I'm loving this <laughs> Air matron. time this man dingoes waski time and this week this is what i've got starwood nova australian waski you better believe it is kindly sent to me from two legends from australia dom and tom cheers man dingoes it is very much appreciated right anyway guys here we go Let's get it poured in the old famous cup dingo man dingoes. Not much left, as usual. Alrighty, let's get the old schneckeroni in it. Oh, wow, straight away. Yes, I'm getting a strong, very strong smell of red wine. And I love a glass of red wine. So that is really nice for me. Mandingos. <clears throat> Honestly, if you shut your eyes and just smell that, you could almost just be smelling a nice glass of red wine. Yeah, obviously you can smell the whisky as well. But the, the red <laughs> the red wine, I gotta get the words out, is very strong. Also getting like a strawberry smell. Lovely. Anyway, that's enough of the sniffing. Let's get on with the tasting. Right. Mm. Little bit honey. And a tiny bit cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Just the smallest bit of cinnamon. But you can taste it. And just like the smell of the strawberries, I'm getting a taste of red fruits. Some different red fruits, but the strawberry is in there, mandingos. Mm. Very nice indeed. Mm. Oh, that's got a lovely, creamy, luxurious feeling in the old mouth dingo, mandingos. Mm -hmm. I've got to be honest, when I got this centre as Australian whisky, I had me doubts. Because, you know, when you think of whiskies, you're thinking of your, your Scotch and your Irish, and then you've got all your, your American bourbon types. In Japan, the Japanese have got some fantastic whiskies out. But when I tried a Japanese one a few weeks ago, it was nice. It was, it was decent. But I wasn't blown away by it. But this, ah, uh, honestly, 
It's absolutely fantastic. It's probably one of the best whiskies I've had in my life. And that's saying something because I've had quite a few. I'm getting like a nice port. You know, like a nice taste of port there. Beautiful. Now after the fourth or fifth taste there, I'm getting the lovely aftertaste of like walnuts and toffee. Oh yeah, this is fantastic. Mm. Well, man, dingoes. Starwood, Nova, Australian Wasky. Absolutely tremendous. I am going to give that a massive nine. In fact, 9.1 dingo, man dingoes. Yes, top quality stuff. 9.1 out of 10. I will advise anyone to buy a bottle of that. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this week's Waski Weave You. Mmm. Ah. You know what I'm talking about, man dingoes. This is serious stealth coming. Oh, yeah. Right. Right, let's add the king prawns. Okay then, we'll give it a minute. Then we'll get the special fried lice pop in. Oh yes, this is going to be a meal fit for a mandingo. You better believe it is. Right, folks. The king prawns and curry sauce is bubbling away. Now it's time to add the Uncle Bensky Bates International. Yes. Give it a good stir. I'm just being careful not to knock it over. I'll bring that back. I'll bring you back in a second, Mandingos. King Prawn Curry with special Uncle Bensky Egg Fried Lice. Mm. And it's piping hot. Just this last hour, the temperature has dropped, starting to get brrr, a little bit chilly. So this is doing the old 
Che tengo, mantengo. Oh, it's just what you need. When I finish this, I'll probably go another quick slash Gordon. And I'll get straight in my sleeping bag. So I've got a nice hot meal. Mm. In the body. Straight in the sleeping bag. That's going to keep my body warm for a long time. And I've done it that many times, I know it's going to work. It's going to help to keep us warm for longer in my sleeping bag. Mm. Now that one. Two King Pronskis for the price of one. Mm -hmm. Right then, <laughs> while I'm enjoying this, Mmm, perfect, the Mondo Minding goes. I'm going to take this time now to thank everyone who has supported the Blood Outdoor Show this last week. Mm. Honestly, guys, I can't say thank you enough for helping my channel and buying me a coffee. really kind of all of you I'm just over the moon that you're watching the channel and giving us a thumbs up and leaving a comment I love it I love all the comments I get and, and all the likes I get but to go out your way as well and buy us a coffee Honestly, it's so kind of you. And I thank you so much. I really do appreciate it, Manding was. You're just so kind. There's your names down there, guys. And down there. Each and every one of you is an absolute legend. Hmm. I wish I could share my King Pron Kerry with all you legends. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Everyone is. From the bottom of your heart. Cheers, man, dingoes. Really do. Appreciate it. You help me get out there every week. Making these stealth camp videos. Which I love to do. And obviously you guys enjoy watching. Once again... Thank you very much. Really appreciate this. You absolute bunch of legends. Lice. Mmm. Look at that, man. How way. How way. It doesn't get much better than that, man, thing was. All right, then, guys. I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this and I'll bring you back when I'm in my sleeping bag just before I go to sleep. Thanks. Mm.
well, it's time to go to sleep in a minute. I've only just remembered I had a little bottle of red wine ski. Mmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. So I'm just going to have a quick drink of this. And then I'll be sound asleep in a few minutes, guys, because I'm buggered. I'm absolutely buggered. You know, when you're tired and you know, as soon as I turn this camera off and shut my eyes, I'll be asleep in a few minutes. Ah, oh, but it's been a brilliant night. I've really enjoyed it. It's been great to have you guys come along on this camp with me. Or oh, killing folks. I'm going to see you. Good noodles. Been a great camp so far. It's nearly over, but not quite, you know. I enjoy this whole part of getting a good sleep and getting up in the morning. That's the worst part when you've got a pack away, but that doesn't bother me. It's all worth it. It's happy dingoes, as they say in the south of France. I want to see you guys first thing in the morning at coffee time. You better believe I will. Mm. Night, guys. I'll see you in the morning. Oh, let's get nice and comfy. Right. Good morning, Mandingos. Oh, Twenty past eight. Slept like a baby. It wasn't even cold once at all. Oh, matron. Yep. I need to get up now and get sorted. I don't think anyone's going to be working on this building site today, Sunday. But you never know. I'd rather get packed up and get away. Oh, honestly, I could just, I could just close my eyes and have another couple of hours sleep. I've been that cosy and nice and warm. But I'm gonna get up anyway, get packed up here. <sighs> I've absolutely loved it. Right then guys, I'm gonna get up now. Oh. Oh. I've got a little bit of a headache. Just a tiny bit. I think it's because I had cider, whiskey, and red wine. Mixing your drinks is never good, is it? Whew. How are then? Let's get packed away. So that's it folks, I'm all packed away. My backpack's there, ready for me to put on my back. I've got my bag of shite there. You see where I've been lying. All ready to go. Had a good look round. There's no one around anywhere, so I'm going to get my bag on and we're going to go. How are we? <laughs> yes. Right, come on then. 
One more quick look. No one around. Oh, there's a way. So that's it guys, that's the end of this week's stealth camping video, hope you've enjoyed it, it's been absolutely brilliant, something different, didn't even have to put a tent up, so it was quite easy to pack away, um, next week I'm going to be out stealth camping with the one and only little Mick, aka the little Mandingo, that should be a good one, I don't know where we're going yet, I'll have to find something that's suitable for my little man friend but yeah i'm really looking forward to that if you've enjoyed this video guys please give us a thumbs up and leave a comment i do read everyone and if you haven't already subbed to the blot outdoor show why not hit that subscribe button help my channel get a bit bigger um can i think of anything else to say <laughs> my mind's gone blank not like me i'm normally waffling a load of shite Yep, that's about it guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Oh, amazing.